Hello, welcome to Better English in Tacoma. My name is Linda, and today's pronunciation video will be focusing on the letters V and W and the sounds that they make. First, the letter V. We form the V sound by placing our top front two teeth against our lower lip and then using our voice to blow out over our lip. V, V, V. You may feel your lower lip vibrate if you hold that sound. This V sound can occur at the beginning of a word, as in very, virtue, voice. It can also occur in the middle of a word, as in seven, advise, movie. At the end of a word, the V is usually followed by an E, but the E is silent and we still have that V sound, as in above, save, and drive. There's one other way that we can get this V sound, and that's with an F, as in the word of, of. To make the W sound, we make a tight circle with our lips and then blow out with our voice as we release that circle. Wuh, wuh, wuh. And this wuh sound can occur at the beginning of a word, as in walk, well, wiggle, and wonder. In these four words, we see that the W is followed by the vowels A, E, I, and O. In the English language, there are almost no words that have a beginning W followed by the U vowel. In the middle of a word, we can have away, between, switch, rework. And sometimes, if the W is not at the beginning of the word, it will be followed by a U. And two examples of that are the words swum and swung, which are tenses of the verbs swim and swing. If the W occurs at the end of a word, it's usually not pronounced. We'll just use the vowel sound that comes before the W as in the words saw, knew, below. It's just below with that O as our ending sound. We don't say below. So that W is silent. We need to be careful though, because sometimes the vowel sounds will be different, even though the letters are the same. This first word in the second row is the word flew but next to it is the word so. They both have the EW, but the sound is different. Both of these words have an OW, but the first one is the word cow. The second is the word low. And here's the word BOW. Exactly the same spelling, but if we're talking about a ribbon that's tied on a package, we'll call it a bow. If we're talking about someone who's bowing at the waist, we call it bow. So bow and bow, exactly the same spelling, but different pronunciations. And the only way to tell which one is by the context of the word. Sometimes this w sound will be made by a wh instead of just a w as in the words whale, when, while, and why. But again, there's an exception. Sometimes the WH will make just an H sound with the W being silent, as in the words who and whole. The W sound can also be made by an O it can happen at the beginning of a word, as in once, or in the middle of a word, like someone. And lastly, the w can be formed 
as a Q-U, where it really sounds more like a K-W, like in the words question, require. So question has that W follow, following a K sound at the beginning of a word, and require has it in the middle of the word. So let's look at some words that are the same except for the V or the W. And these two sets of words have the V and the W at the beginning of the word. You may want to take a screenshot of this page in case some of the words are unfamiliar to you, and then you can look them up later and improve your vocabulary as well as your pronunciation. As I say each word, please repeat it after me. Vet, wet, very, wary, vine, wine, vest, west, viper, wiper. And words can be the same except for the V or the W when it's in the middle or the end of the word as well. But sometimes, even though there's the different letter, the vowel sounds may change as well. So say each of these words after me. Never. Newer. Cover. Cower. Notice the same spelling except for the V and the W, but the vowel is different. Cover and cower. Mover. Mower. Shove. Show. Groove. Grew. And notice even with the same V sound, the cover with the C at the beginning is a different pronunciation than mover with an M. And over here, cower and mower. Cower, mower. So sometimes that vowel will have a different sound even though it's the same vowel. Let's look at some sentences that use these sounds. Our first sentence focuses on the V sound I'm going to read it, then we'll read it together, and then you try it on your own. Vic discovered that his favorite variety of vegetable cooked better in the oven than on the stove. Read it with me. Vic discovered that his favorite variety of vegetable cooked better in the oven than on the stove. Now you read it. Our next sentence focuses on the W sound, whether from a W, a WH, or an O. Again, I'll read it once, we'll read it together, and then you read it. While watching a witty new show, Wendy forgot her worries about everyone's problems. While watching a witty new show, Wendy forgot her worries about everyone's problems. Now you try. Our last sentence puts the V and the W sound together. Let's read it together. The university welcomed everyone to vote for winners of five awards for valor and wisdom. Let's read it together again. The university welcomed everyone to vote for winners of five awards for valor and wisdom. Now you try. So there you have it. The V and the W, the V and W sounds. I hope you'll join us for another video from Better English in Tacoma. Have a nice day. Bye.